to make a lower lingual holding arch, uh, we would bend the two first molars. Then you want to make sure when we bend our wire, we're touching the cingulums of the anterior teeth. So how we bend it, start with a wire, get it into an arch, smaller than the patient's mouth. And as you see, it's still a little larger, so we want to make it a little smaller. And then at the canines, we use our three-prong plier and clip it in so it gets a little squared. And do the same on the other side. So now you have your wire almost with two little squares. Once again, make sure it's smaller than the arch because you don't want it to put any pressure on the teeth. And then just contour it along the lingual of the posterior teeth. You want to make sure that this contacts the cingulums of the anterior teeth because if you have any pressure from the distal, it's not going to push the teeth out of position. It's just the tooth is very anchored in at the cingulum. If it was higher up, any pressure would allow would make these teeth tilt forward. So as you bend back, you just want to contour it along <coughs> the posterior teeth. So just make sure it's touching the posterior teeth and then you want it to finish into the middle of the band. So when the teeth are banded, we will fit it in the middle of the molars, band it, and then solder it. Very simply, that is your lower lingual holding arch.